performance sound. Yeah, where it's that you can't even see sound. Oh, we're oh, okay, yeah, we're all here. Welcome. Nobody has joined us yet, but every time we've done this, uh, it takes a few minutes. Right, exactly. Sudden, we yeah. know. Yeah, yeah everyone's busy, but we're yeah, back again. Yeah, we're back again. Uh, Bart, hello, and Piotr, uh, the three of us are the uh, <laughs> original co-founders of Explain Everything, now all in one view, all in the same room. Historic moment. Yes. <laughs> Pio Piotr, from the previous uh, videos, thought that the microphone uh, was just too close to the camera. He didn't actually realize it is oh, a it is. massive microphone. This is right next to my head. So <laughs> it, it wasn't a camera trick, but it was actually uh, the size of the camera. Um, I'm going to do one more quick tweet here. Um, just to make sure people know that we are now live, and uh, hey Sam. Hey. So I hope everyone had a nice week, and I know we're starting to lose viewers as the weeks go on. So hopefully you're not boring you too much. But no, we're not losing no, I'm, viewers. I'm just no, 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 no. We're, we're doing awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, this week we're gonna uh, focus on project template design. Um, which is actually really fun and exciting. And Rashawn and I have some cool templates that, that he created, not I, created this past week, and we're going to share those with you. So, um, yeah. Well, we'll actually, we'll really be focusing on, on one. Oh, I wrote Explain Everything twice. Hold on. Okay, here we go. I just tweeted it one more time. Oh, here comes everyone. We're going to retweet. Yeah, it's going to be just out of control. We're going to crash the servers. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Oh, where's Piotr? There he is. Um, and this is Tej. Oh, there's Taj, yep. So this is just, yep. it's got everyone yeah, in the camera. Yeah, everyone's all here. <laughs> Super. All right, so let, let's get right into it. I'm going to switch to my uh, my iPad. I don't want to disturb you. Oh, no, Dis disturb away. Uh, oops, I forgot. I quit. The best people to explain, explain everything. Yes. We won't. See you later. Come back. If, you know what? I'll... Uh, I'll message you the join code if you wanted to oh, yeah. join for Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Oh, you know what? Let me open the let me open the channel uh, so we can keep track of comments. The first time we did this, we we missed uh, the place. So it's the event page. I'm gonna write hi there. Um, is where we'll be able to keep track of comments or questions that that may come up. All right, so now let me go back to sharing my screen. Um, oops, the window must be open somewhere. There it is. Uh, OK, start screen share. All right, my iPad should be visible. Oh, I forgot to do the little name badge thing. Oh. We'll, do it. we'll do it next time we switch away. <laughs> um, so the, here, let's, let's talk about this. So the first, the first uh, one of these things we did, we talked about instruction and feedback in a live setting. You need some green to call that out. Uh, and then last week, we talked about making inst uh, asynchronous instruction and feedback videos. Oh, I meant to highlight that, yes. That was week two? Yeah. That, yeah. There we go. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me that that move was weak. Oh. oh. Because I, I meant to draw, and I actually moved the whole page. Uh, but this week, we're going to talk about project template design. Uh, the thinking behind this is that with Explain Everything and its, and its project file format, you can uh, create a project or some assets and artifacts, share that project file that somebody else can then download and open. And um, as an example, we're gonna uh, we're gonna create an. I'm gonna create. I'm gonna pretend I'm the teacher, Sam. You could be the uh, uh, the the student. Cool. And I'm thinking of we're we're gonna create a material, or I want to create a template that you can use. So uh, I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna say discard. Uh, yeah, I'll discard that. I'm gonna create a new project. So I've just got a nice uh, blank canvas here. I'm going to explain everything collaborative whiteboard for iOS. We might actually collaborate on this. Cool. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm just doing this kind of one directional showing. So you know, one thing I like to do is uh, I use two resources. And I'll write them here. I'm not going to browse to them uh, during this thing. But a place where you can get great royalty-free images, uh, openclipart.org. Yeah, I think it's openclipart.org. Uh, Hope that's the right one. And actually, let me see if I can insert a browser here. Browser. So I actually, oh, I have a great idea. Okay, open clipart.org. Yes, this is it. So this is a great uh, web resource. Um, I would not let young people browse this uh, 
willy-nilly because I think every now and then there might be something questionable that shows up. But as a teacher, or as an instructional designer, you can download these great royalty-free, totally open source images. Uh, and I create a, create, a, uh, create a folder in Dropbox where I save uh, images that I want to use. So I actually found um, some cool things. I just looked for a, a bowling ball. And then in Safari on my iPad, um, you, when you save the, these images, there are pings with the, or PNG files with transparency. And uh, you can choose different sizes. And in Safari, when you press and hold it, you get that save image. It will save to your camera roll. You could probably use the, uh, the cutout tool. Let me see if that will work here. Um, you know, in the new Explain Everything, we have this cutout tool. Uh, but if I use that, it's going to have the white rectangle. That's not really what I want. Uh, but so let me let me actually so that's openclipart.org. Uh, I'm going to go to my little clipart folder that I have in Dropbox. Uh, actually, no, you know what? I saved these assets somewhere somewhere else. Um, I made a folder called Test Import, and somewhere in here, uh, bowl, oh, bowling pond. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I save two bowling balls and a bowling pin. I'm going to keep the ball and the pin, and I'm going to import them. And now I've got a bowling ball, and I've got a pin. I can duplicate the pin as many times as I need. How many pins in bowling? Ten, right? Ten, ten pins. Yeah, five, yeah. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So great. I've made ten pins. Oh, notice. So I can actually think about uh, the layer order here. Um, you know, which ones are in front? Let's see. All right, so that's in front. And so on. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm just organizing these by depth so that uh, I know which one goes where. Fine. Great. Okay, so 10 pins, bowling ball. And, you know, I could provide, I could export this and provide it to you, and you'd be able to open it and uh, do something uh, with it. But I might want to take it a step further. Uh, I'm going to move this little URL here. So I got these from openclipart.org. Um, First of all, I might decide uh, I want you to have the, the ball and the pins. The scale is okay, but I might want to just make sure a few things don't happen while you're working with them. For example, I might say lock scale for all of these objects so that when you're using them, you can move and rotate them, but you can't accidentally make them bigger or smaller. Just because mm -hmm. maybe that'll get in the way of the thing you're trying to do. Maybe not. Um, Actually, let me do this. I'm going to unlock the scale of the ball because I'm going to try. I just had an idea. I mean, I messed with this uh, earlier in the week. I'm going to try it again. Um, I'm going to take these these pins here and arrange them almost in a, well, not almost, it is in a kind of three-dimensional configuration. Ooh. So imagine this is all, oh, wait, I need the ball to come to the front. Arrange. Bring to front. Okay, so now you could pretend like a ball was coming down the alley, and oops, I moved a pin down the bowling alley, and then uh, was getting uh, oh, was striking all this stuff. Oops, I mean the bowling ball is too small. Uh, so let me. I'll just do a little bit more, and then I'm going to save this little template that we've made. So uh, I've got the ball. I just really want to add a few more things. Now, I could probably go online and find an image of a bowling alley if I wanted that as the background. Uh, but I'm going to use my primitive sketching skills to uh, create a quick bowling alley background. So we've got like a little horizon line. Fine. And we're going to have the alley kind of going that way. And oh, you know what? I'm going to add some color for the lane. So you just see I'm doing like a bit of bit of design work. What do you think I'm going to do with this after I've finished drawing it in order for it to not look like it's on top? Probably bring the ball to the front. Yeah, or maybe even the pins too. Ooh, or the pins, right. Or maybe I'll just even send. Oh, see, look, those got grouped together. Ungroup. Now I'm going to send these two things. Group. Arrange, sent to back. There we go. All right, so there's my, my awesome bowling alley template. And maybe even, you know, oh, let's let's do this. I'm gonna give i I'm gonna make this project about converting the dreaded whoops. Oh, I'm gonna lock this. 
Haven't you heard of the seven ten split in bowling? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that like here, let me. That you know, it's like one of the hardest spares to convert. So maybe I'm going to leave some instruction here. Yeah. How might you convert a seven ten split? So, oh, look at that H. There we go. All right, so there we go. So I just created this activity. These 10 pins, I'm just going to save for, uh, for later because right now we're just focused on these two things. So I might create this little project here, and I'm going to upload it to the portal. So let's call this uh, bowling. 710 split. Saving it at, um, I'm going to send it to explain everything discover. Uh, I could also save this project to any any source and somebody with a, a, an iPad or so, uh, has explain everything would be able to open it and interact with it. Um, so let me, but let me publish it up here and see what happens. 710 split, it's uploading. Make it public. Publish. Done. Uh, I'm going to copy that link. And good. So now that project, if I, I'm actually going to, uh, well, I could post that link. I'm actually going to take this uh, one other level. So I'll, I'll pretend now I'm in a live setting. Well, we'll use a live setting, but simulate uh, Sam as the student opening this project on, on his iPad. So. Uh, in order to do that, I'm just going to let him join, but I'm also going to let anybody else join. Bowling. Right, and like another another cool use case maybe for this could be, I remember I it took me a long time to learn how to score bowling, right? So maybe in the top you could have like a score score pad and someone teaching someone how to, how to do the scoring in bowling where you get two rolls on each turn and you hit six the first one and then and then you hit two the second one, and the big six goes in the in the big box, and the two goes in the other box, and then you get eight for, for that. So I don't know, maybe yeah, maybe we can add that in, yeah, yeah, or we can duplicate the slide. So right. yeah, cool. So participants, if you've got, uh, uh, so we got yeah, we got quite a few viewers now. So if you have the explain everything collaborative whiteboard, uh, and you enter uh, the collaboration menu in any of the variety of places, you can enter seven A A seven nine S. And you will be able to join us uh, as we uh, mess around with this with this bowling activity. And I'll put that code right on the um, on the collaboration screen. So if someone wants to join in, and we are in the middle of talking about our bowling template, you can join in as well. All right, cool. Maybe write it above or b below the instructions. Cool. Uh, I'll read it to you. Seven A A seven nine S. I'm just going to check the uh, chat window. Are uh, these Hangouts videos? Um, Save somewhere. Yes, they are saved. Yes, they are saved. We'll be tweeting them and also sharing the complete list after four or five of them. I just uh, replied to you, uh, Dana. Oops, someone else is coming in. Oh. All right. Share. Just put that message there. Okay, a couple more people uh, are joining. So I'm gonna I'm gonna close the menu because you've written it up there. There's the join code. It's up there. Um, so uh, I could hit record now, and because we're in the same room, my microphone will pick it up. Um, but let's like there are a couple of ways we can approach this. Um, I'm gonna hit record. Uh, we're gonna record. And so one way somebody might say is like you know the you might use the pointer. Uh, to show uh, the path or the point where one pin might need to be hit, you could sketch out the path. You can like make a excuse a color, and I'm now I'm, Sam should probably do this. I'm pretending I'm Sam the student, but <laughs> um, you know you could map out the angle and then the expected uh, action, and then on the next slide we can actually duplicate all these materials and then actually record it, or you could just uh, let's bring the ball to the front. You could actually model the whole uh, expected behavior 
uh, if you're coordinated enough. Or if you have multiple people, you can actually simulate the whole thing. So why don't I be the bowling ball? Great. I'm um, going to make sure none of these. Yeah, let me lock the, uh, let me lock the, uh, um, let me lock my little annotation here. Lock. I'm going to move the, I'm going to send the join code to the back. Edit group. Set to back. And lock. Just so those don't get in the way. Okay, so now the pins. Pins should be movable. Um, and okay, so do you want to be the pins? And sure. I'll be the ball. So we're, we're now collaboratively, let's both be students. I'm going to simulate this. So here comes the bowling ball. Boom. Boom. All right, and then the crowd go, goes bonkers. Wild. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Big, big bowling prize. And if you notice down here, yeah. right, Rashawn has been recording yeah, this so entire all, interaction. All of these interactions now have been made into this legendary, you know, creation, this, <laughs> this cinematic masterpiece um, of, of the bowling simulation. Um, so I'm, uh, I created the template as a teacher. I share it, and then students can interact with it. You know, if you share, if I share this with ten different people, you probably have ten different variations and uh, visualizations and explanations of, of the same thing. What's helpful about creating, let me uh, go back to uh, uh, us here. Oh, let me actually add the little toolbox thing. Uh, how is that? This, uh, you want to say, flip it, and Sean, and Sam, you choose logo. Um, oh, so anyway, so the thing about the uh, the templates is that by instead of having students start at like a blank slate, right. you can uh, you know you provide them the materials that you're most interested and curious about them right. doing. You're not you might not necessarily be trying to assess them on their design or right. creation skills of the content, but rather uh, what you can do with that content. And um, I think that's where using these templates and and using Discover as a place to mediate it, or you know any other cloud source. But you know, with Discover, you can also access templates created by other people. So right. anybody now, if they want to download that Bowling Seven Ten Split project, can do, can do that. And what's also nice is for for training, right? So if someone's never used Explain Everything before. Sometimes it can be overwhelming just to see that white blank canvas and have to start with nothing, right? So sometimes it's nice to bring in a, a picture with some images that have already been created, and someone can see how to scale and manipulate and um, change some of the objects that have already been created and kind of see some of the features or the possibilities of, of explain everything instead of just starting with this blank whiteboard. So the template can be can be nice in that way as well. Cool. I'm still trying to uh, add our little uh, little icon here. Icon to yeah, our yeah. page. Cool. Save. Please enable. Oh, enable. Here we go. Aha. There we go. Oh, I spelled and wrong. <laughs> it says we're okay. Hold on, let's fix that. Oh, the that's <clears throat> ah, much better. Um, all right, so let, let's see. Let me go to the question thing here. Awesome. All right, so no live questions yet. Um, oh, that's so let, let's think about some other things. So, this was kind of sophisticated in that, um, you know, we use some existing clip, clip art to make it and you know that's a choice uh, but you can do things with uh, you know much without much uh, much more additional work so I'm gonna create a new slide here oh the collaboration is still going that's cool um, I'm gonna set a pattern I'm just gonna do some simple lined paper and I might you know for like now I'm gonna transition to like more of an early childhood setting um, I might create, uh, you know, some. All right, I should be. I am not the person who should be teaching handwriting because <laughs> mine, mine is atrocious. However, um, there might be some existing materials, uh, or you might have some custom things that you know, practicing fine motor and uh, those kinds of skills that you can create your own traceable activity. So I could export this project. A student could open it on his or her device. And then, you know, using a stylus or their finger just to practice the gesture, 
you know, trace over it cool. and trace over it again and again. Um, that's one thing, uh, you know, that's one way to go about it. Uh, I'm going to jump over to Discover. I'm about to leave the collaborative session. Yes, I am. Uh, we'll save that. We like that. And so, you know, the thinking behind Explain Everything Discover was specifically so that when people create project templates, they can, uh, well, one, have a place to publish and, and share the work, but just also so others can access the content. I actually haven't played this one yet. Somebody has created this Build Your Own City, uh, so someone on the Explain Everything team, it looks like, and I'm going to say Get. I'm going to say Download. And all right, so here's a material. Somebody else has published it. It's a project file. It's an activity template. And there isn't much uh, instruction or guidance here other than uh, it's really cool to look at. But <laughs> I might do something now as, a, as an instructor because I'm like, you know, we're, we're doing something about um, uh, comparing and contrasting different types of um, cities or, or locations, so, you know, urban, suburban, and rural, you know, so, like, you know, create a, you know, contrasting rural landscape. So maybe I could take the things that I liked here, and so I've, you know, what's provided to the student might be, uh, these things and it might give them an idea, well, okay, I might share this project and then the student can create um, some other visual mm -hmm. uh, that works with it. Or you might be like, create your like awesome designer city. I'm actually really excited to play with this. This is super cool. Look at this. Had you seen this before? Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. This reminds me of like SimCity. And this is nice too. So, say you're um, like we were talking about before, kind of the uses of the template. But you could bring this in and have during a collaboration session, and have each student create a different type of environment on each slide, and they'd all um, create their own maybe little city or little little, uh, little town, maybe some rural environment or some some forest, even whatever they want to create on their own slides. And then at the end, you'd have ten slides with ten students who created their own. Um, ideal environment or something like that, which which could be a, a cool way to incorporate collaboration into one of these kind of templated, structured uh, projects that have been built previously. Yeah, that's an awesome idea. In fact, now I'm, now I'm going to change this up based on what you just <laughs> shared. So like, you might say, all right, somebody shared this these cool city building blocks, but it's like, I want to create uh, a rural block. Mm -hmm. So maybe I will add a slide, and maybe I will either, you know, if I had awesome drawing skills, I would create some artifacts that would be part of the rural. Right. And then another one that might be more suburban. And so now I've used somebody else's creation to inspire a bigger project, but maybe I was already doing those kinds of conversations, but now I've got some materials that could be used to support it. Exactly. I will do a pig. I'm going to assume in a rural, you know, I'm <laughs> going to do like a farm for... Rural. You could add like one of the shapes as a little pond that it's drinking out of, or something. Uh, yeah. You know, I don't. I'm not very good. I mean, Rashawn's even better than I am, so I have to use those those shape tools to really enhance my drawings. <laughs> I I don't know. I mean, this is. Oops. <laughs> oh wait, that kind of looks like a smile. That's that's actually okay. Yeah. Now the pig is happy. Okay. So what happened to my pink? I didn't choose the pink today. Let me see. Pink. Uh, that's a good pink done. There we go. So I'm actually going to, this is another little hack I do. So it looks like, I did this before with the bowling alley. It looks like I'm ruining my drawing, but I'm not. In fact, let me, let me zoom out so I can have more pink drawing. And then I'm going to draw some white for the eyes. Then... Uh-oh, uh ungroup, arrange, center back, arrange, 
sent back. Okay, there's Nyla Piggy. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> but yeah, that probably took too long. Oh, well, actually, no, we could use circle, like you said. The blue circle. Yeah, let me, well, let me make that oh. a little, like, landing pad. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then, oh, what did you suggest? A pond? A little, or a little, like, yeah, like a little either drinking well or a pond or yeah. something like that. Oh, you wanted it as a shape. Yeah, that's really little. There we go. Okay, so yeah, so that could this be. This is our little, our little yeah. farm. <laughs> yeah, so maybe maybe we spend too much time in New York City that <laughs> when when we talk about rural, this is this is all we got. <laughs> um, but yeah, you could but see yeah, yeah, you could yeah. see a group of a group of students having fun creating their own little ideal environments on on their own slides, and then coming at the end and all right, we have ten people that create their own environments. Explain kind of what you thought of and how you how you created that. So it's a good kind of do it your own type of situation that you can give the students their own creative abilities to to create their own their own fun fun uh, projects. Yeah, let me. Uh... I want to keep that one. I actually, I actually like that <laughs> that a lot. I want to continue to iterate on that. Um, so you know, we get that was another example of using somebody else's more sophisticated things. Uh, but it could be just as simple as um, if you just wanted some digital manipulatives. I want to share your screen again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this that's pretty good. We're about thirty minutes in, and that's only the first time it's happened. Normally. It's like a few more times. See, but then I almost hit the stop broadcast button. Oh, yeah, we wouldn't want that. No. Then it would be over abruptly. Yeah. <laughs> would that, that would be the unceremonious end. Uh, okay, here we go. So I just drew a circle shape. I'm going to lock its uh, scale, and I'm going to duplicate it a bunch of times. And so now I've got these disks. I might want one of a similar color uh, shape, but I want it to be red. And I'm gonna duplicate that. So now, I mean, there's so many directions you can go with this, but now I've got counters. Mm -hmm. And those might be something that I need, and I don't have to, I could share this template with students, and they don't have to first create the circles, they can just do whatever interaction or manipulation um, that they wanted to do. So I'm going to stop the screen share again. So we're back to us. Um, so we've got we've still got some viewers. Let me let me share this out to uh, collaborate counters. And if anybody wants to join here, this new code uh, that is a letter O. O U H A Z F. O U H O U H A Z F. Cool. And we'll have someone joining in a sec. All right. Anybody else wants to join? You're welcome to. Uh, o U H A Z F. I'll write it in. Oh, oh yeah. I got it. Uh, o U H. Oh no. I wrote too big. Oh, yeah, now the math team, well, oh, two to three ratio. Yeah, so maybe exactly. you, sh you should write it as a... Oh, as a ratio, two, two yeah. to three. Because so otherwise it's not really two-thirds. Looks like divided. Yeah, <laughs> or, yeah or you could say two out of five are black tiles or... Um, oh, actually, no, you could say the number of black circles is two-thirds of the number of red ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like the ratio better. That's what I was going for. I forgot what the symbol was. Yeah, yeah, that's my, okay. My, my <laughs> Uh, oh, you can't see. The, I did it. Oh, I did it. Oh, oh we both man. did notice this. Uh, this is going to be like the worst five minutes of somebody's life as they don't know what we're talking about. We're talking okay. about. Yeah, so this is, well, let's, let's rewind here. So I had written the code here. I forgot to share my screen. Sorry about that. Uh, but Sam, uh, from his iPad, was moving some of the, uh, the disks around, and then he wrote two thirds. And uh, as you know, I had some questions about that, and I thought maybe he meant more of the ratio of red, black to red 
discs or uh, counters was two two three. But then, in context, if you said the two third, the number of black counters is two thirds the number of red ones. Right. And that would be a truthful statement. It was so a nice. Okay. It was a nice teaching moment within explain everything. I yeah. forgot what the symbol was for for two to three the ratio, and there we go. Yeah. And so that could be a a faulty part of my thinking that I just figured out by by sharing this time with Rashawn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, cool. I think we're gonna. We're going to wrap up now. Cool. All right, awesome. we're back. Yeah, so you know, that was a, a, just a quick little exercise uh, into thinking about using the app to create project templates that you can publish to Discover. You can share via any service when you export the uh, – I'm going to end the collaboration session. Sorry to those who are joined. Um, I can send this project file to any service that will receive it. I did it again. Oh, share. Yeah. Um, let me just do one more share here. So I just did the export option, and any any service that either we explain everything directly integrates with, or that can receive this file type, I can send this. I can even email it if it's small enough right. uh, that somebody then can open it or do open in. Uh, from their uh, device if they have explained everything installed. So next week, well, let's see, what should we do next week? Um, we could do something on like brainstorming and sketching. Mm -hmm. That might, you know, one of the things I'm excited about is collaborative note taking and right. sketching. So maybe we'll like put on, maybe we'll watch like a really boring lecture, like a 20 minute lecture, right. and then have everybody else, anybody who else is interested in. It, you know, watch it, and we can all like take notes together. Right, and yeah. then we can also show what it might look like for each each person working on different slides, and then coming together at the end. Oh, because yeah, you get presenting. multiple people's perspectives. Right. Like some people would have focused on one thing, right. and then you also get different perspectives on people take notes. Some will be very visual, some might be very linear. Right. All right. Exactly. So yeah, maybe well, actually, well, I'll try to find a transcript of of some talk, some short talk. Ah. Um, but I'll try to find something that's really really dry. Right. Um, and then maybe we'll we'll recruit somebody to read it. Um, so that both participants listening, but also us here, we can model, and, uh, you know, just kind of this collaborative note-taking idea. And what we pull from from those type of conversations. Yeah. All right. So next, yeah. next, cool. next topic is going to be collaborative note-taking and uh, ideating with with explain everything. Great. All right. We've said it. All right. So thanks uh, for joining, and we hope uh, to see you soon. This will be archived and shared. Uh, follow explain everything on Twitter, Google Plus, Facebook those places or check the website. Everywhere. Everywhere. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.